Hello everyone, I'm Kroms and welcome to a new let's play of this war of mine. Yes, you have asked for it and I really love this game so let's do another one. And we're gonna make it as challenging and hard as possible. So we will start with one person and this time it's Roman because he is trained in combat. And the reason I chose him is because in the city map I've chosen almost all the locations that has a challenging like bandits there we need to fight our way through so there will be snipers or soldiers or bandits um, so in the beginning there are a few starting locations that there are no bandits or soldiers but the rest we need to fight for all the items that we will bring back so that will be really, really hard. Uh, I've also chosen here, intensity of the conflict, it should be high. Winter comes early, like really early. We, I think it's almost cold when we begin. Harshness should be severe and length should be long. That means we need to build a heater really, really soon and to keep the house warm so we don't get sick. So let's start this story and uh, see how long we uh, survive because this will be really, really challenging. So if you're new to this game, I recommend that you look on one of my older playthroughs because uh, I take it a little bit more slowly there and explain more. We will just jump in and push through here to... Uh, I will explain a little bit as we go along, but if you're completely new to the game, I definitely recommend that you look on one of the older playthroughs. So, let's see what we have here. War has been raging for countless months and the besieged city has been reduced to a sea of ruins by constant shelling. Going outside during daylight is like inviting snipers to target practice. Everything is in short supply and what little aid reaches the city is seized by the most ruthless and best armed. Few residents were lucky enough to flee. The unlucky ones who missed the last refugee convoy are left to fend for themselves. Ordinary people huddling in the ruins relying only on each other to survive. Alright, so we have one of the new locations. We have uh, we've had this before. Uh, Roman is wounded. So we need to find you some bandages. It's not that bad. And it's 13 degrees Celsius. We need to uh, we need to get it up to above 15. And sometimes we could leave some things on the ground because if we get raided they can't steal that. But we, we just it, it takes too too long. So we will just grab what we can. Uh, we'll grab everything. And we'll try and defend ourselves. Instead, let's head down here and grab these two piles as well. And this door is locked. We will not use lockpicks for locked doors in our house. We will use it when we do scavenging runs in the night. Let's just open this. We, we could go up, up on top, but we will be running back and forth here. So it's, I used to remove those as quickly as possible. So the first thing is we need components. Hey, what are you doing? We need components and wood so we can build a metal workshop. And with that metal workshop, we can build a crowbar and a shovel. That is our first and main priority. Get some more wood, I think we, have enough. There is a pile here next to the workshop as well. This is not a pile, this is a share. You can sit and rest. Oh wait, let's grab this first. Alright, 15 components. Now we definitely have enough. So, metal workshop. Let's make it. Let's pop it next to the regular workshop. And we can examine this. It's an old radio thing. It's used in one of the scenarios, so it, you can't use it in this in a regular game. 
I also need to find bandages so we can treat your wounds. They're usually in locked cabinets like this. So we'll try and find that. So one crowbar, and then we need a shovel. So I think we start over here. If we dig through that pile and this pile, we can have at least access to three. Now we need to pry this door open and then we can access these two. Now we have that one. It's not that much. All right, crowbar is done. Let's go with the shovel. So the next step is to build a bed and a heater. And I'm, I'm not sure we will have enough material to do that today. We'll see when we have built the shovel if we have material for a bed or a, or a heater. We don't need to sleep today. We will sleep tomorrow. So we'll use the rest of the day to, uh, to go through the stuff in the house. But let's see. No, we can't build a bed. We need two more wood. And we need, or we need five more components for a simple heater. So let's head down in the basement. We we'll start here. Let's see if we can find some wood. Then we need to upgrade the workshop and metal workshop, and that when we can build an axe. And with the axe, we can cut down furniture and get firewood and wood from that. So that is also quite important to fix early. Right, we got wood. I think we have enough wood for a bed now. We need two more wood. So we, we, I don't think we will build it today, but we will, we can place it so we can build it tomorrow. We'll see how much time we'll have left. First, we, our main goal now is to find bandages. And we got it. And books as well. This is, we will use that for firewood um, in the early game. So let's go and treat our wounds. Then I'm not sure where to place the bed though. We want the bed here, maybe here. Because we can't upgrade this, right, can we? No. All right, let, let's, let's build that. We will definitely need it. I will place it. But we won't start building it until tomorrow. All the materials are there. They can't be stolen. Let's have a look. Some parts of a radio station are still here. Okay. So let's see if we can. I don't think we will have time to go through all of these. But we can start. So we have until 8 p.m. All right, this is good for trade in the early game, sugar and, uh, and herbs. Yeah, maybe we will have time to, uh, to get through this. Then we'll do a scavenging run and hopefully bring back components and uh, more wood so we can build a heater. More wood. And get some components, please. All right. Some jewelry for trade. That is good. Let's head down, and I think we should... Well, we don't have any time left, but maybe we can make some firewood out of the books that we have. So, book seven... I don't know. Let's start with five. I don't think we will have time to build all of those, and we can end the day. So, our first scavenging run could be to an abandoned cottage or a shelled cottage. And we can see the variety of things here. So, I see a lot of meds here and a huge amount of weapons. And some meds, lots of weapons. No, we're gonna go with the shell cottage. And we're gonna bring with us, if I remember correctly, there are two locked doors. 
Um, there are also two piles of rubble. So I will actually bring the shovel. The reason why I choose lockpicks here is because if I could go with the crowbar, but then we need to bring that back with us, which means it will take a slot. So these lockpicks will be used when we have opened a door. So if we open two doors, those will be gone anyway. And then we can bring back one shovel, which means we have nine slots for other materials to bring back. There are different persons. We, we have played with uh, Marco, and he is a scavenger. I think he has 16 slots, so he can bring home a lot of materials. But it's going to be trickier when we have people who can't carry that much. All right. Let's grab that as well. So now, I, my, my tactics or is to bring everything back and place it. Yeah, probably we're going to place it in this. Let's dig through this pile first, since we have the shovel. And then we can dig through this, and then we'll drop everything off in this cabinet. And uh, we'll empty the whole map and bring everything down here, which will make it much easier when we come back next time. We just need to go down here to uh, get what we want. And on some maps, there are civilians walking around, and they can steal things. But I, I don't think I've seen them in the basement, so we should be safe by storing it here. Now, I don't think there is any civilians on this map anyway, but let, let's do it as, we, as I usually do. So we found more bandages. Uh, we don't need a shovel anymore. So let's drop everything off, and then we... Head up to the top floor because I saw that this one was locked. So we open that and now it's time to clear this and bring all the stuff down to the cabinet there. All right, we have something here. One of the flyers dropped in the city. It reads, this is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave Pogoran immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they have committed. All right. Yeah, there's a poor guy hanging out the window there. All right, some weapon parts. Cogwheels. That is good for when upgrading uh, the stove and our workshops. We can't grab it all, so let's grab that and we head down to the basement. Yeah, I have some mice or rats running around there. Then we drop it off. Let's uh, let's head over here and we, we clear this level first. Hopefully there is some food in the fridge. And sugar. Sugar, we will definitely bring that back, but not tonight. I think the trader will come on day three. There's probably some random events. We might not always come, but it usually comes on day three. And so that's when we need to bring home a lot of stuff so we can use to barter with. Right, any more sugar. Medicine. That could be good. If we get injured. And since we'll be do a lot of fighting in this, let's play we will definitely need it. Start to get full. <laughs> I think it's an un unlimited uh, supply there, or we, we can just store as much as possible. Okay, let's go there, and then we had was it two planks and a toy? What was it for? Yeah, two. Okay, let's drop it off, and then we head to the top floor and clear that, and then it's time to select the best. What we want to bring back. Of 
Last pile. Will we be able to grab everything? No. All right, we leave that. We will go up and bring it down when we come back tomorrow. So let's decide what to bring. We should bring the shovel because we need that back home. We have a few piles to dig through. But then we don't really need anything of this. We will need the weapon parts and sugar and everything else, but let's go with 20 components and 8 wood. And we will run to the exit and I think, yeah, there's an exit there. All right, let's see if our bandages have worked and hopefully you're just slightly wounded. And then we don't need to use more bandages. Alright, and we're back home. So, the night was calm. And we have supplies. So, we need... Yeah, it's 8 degrees now. We need to get that nice and warm. So, first we need to finish some firewood that we started. And then we can build a heater. Yeah, slightly wounded, so that is good. Uh, we also need to eat food, but we won't do that until tomorrow. So on day three is the first uh, day we will eat, and then we eat every other day. So three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and so on. So I'm not sure. We had five. Yeah, five. Let's start with three and see if that is enough to get the temperature over 15. Otherwise, we need to add one more. Then we're going to finish our bed. We need to go to bed around 2 p.m. So we will have enough sleep during the afternoon so we can do a new raid at night. So temperature is going up. One. We need it to get a little warmer. No, I guess we need. Okay, 13, 14. All right, we good. 15. Let's go through the rest of the house. So if you can keep it above 15, he won't get sick. That, it will be quite tough to do that, uh, especially in, since the winter is coming early. Get more wood. Let's head down here. Might be able to clear this before we need to go to bed. Okay, one herbal medicine. That's it, right? Yeah, we clear that. This is a share, we can collect that, and then we have the bed. Yeah, it's these two. Hopefully, we can get them. So this is actually a pretty good start. We were wounded, but we are all my, well, hopefully we are getting better in the next two days. We don't need to treat this wound anymore. All right, component, well, cogwheels and electronics. And the last one, and then we will go to bed. I think we will need to add one more firewood into this so it's not that cold in the morning. And then we need to make more firewood. So let's pop it there and go to bed. And we will end the day.
and we will head back to the shell cottage. We have ruined blood of flats, ghost house, looted gas station, and disrupting squad. We don't need to bring anything, so we will just go and hopefully the trader will come. Let's go up and grab the stuff that we didn't brought down last time. And then we just head down in the basement, grab what we want and get out of there. Okay, we don't need anything of any of these two. These are very good for trade. But, and we don't need the food this time either, because we need a lot of, we need some of this, but we definitely need this for trade. We are going to need to upgrade the workshop, and then we can build an axe. So I'm going to do that, and then we go with three of those and two of those. And hopefully the trader will bring a lot of stuff as well that we can use to, uh, so we can trade and get components and wood. So I think we might need to build a second burner right away. We see how cold it is. It's still, it's still not blue, so uh, it's not that cold. Did they, no, they didn't come and steal anything. So we have everything left. It's 10 degrees. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we have one firewood left. Let's go up and add that and then we need to make some more firewood. We want to upgrade this, but we need a thermometer to do that. And we don't have... We need to upgrade this first. So, let's see if we can... No, we need more things to upgrade that. Let's do some firewood. Uh... And we have two books. Let's start with those. And then hopefully, if the trader comes, we can trade us some firewoods. We don't need to use the pressures of wood to uh, use as firewood. So let's use one. Hopefully that will be enough. It's day three. Let's see. Can we build a stove? That might be... Yes, we can. So the question is, do we want that? Yes, I think we will. So let's build that, and then we can cook some food. And if we cook the food, they can't steal it. But we need a lot of firewood to be to make to cook the food. But I think it might be worth it. And then I, I really want to upgrade this as well because then it, it uses less firewood. Yeah, it's only 14. We need to get this. I'll use the last firewood here first. We pop it above 15. And then we, let's see. Do we have anyone coming today? Yeah, the trader is here. Let's see. How many, how much firewood do we need? So we need two firewood. Yeah, we need four firewood to make, cook all that food. We'll see if we can trade us some good stuff. Then we need to go to bed too. We will not forget that, okay? Okay, you have a lot of food though. But let's let's try and grab as much as possible here. You also have that. We want plenty of those. So let's start with the herbs. And then we'll go with these. Fine, we can have a deal. Then we go weapon parts and that. Let's see if we have enough. Let's go. Okay, very generous. So now we can start removing things. Deal. Do you have anything else? We want those. Can we get that as well? Okay, we can have a deal. Deal. Uh, let's cook some food. Uh, did I say goodbye? Let's do that. 
Bye bye. And then we'll try and cook some food and eat. This will. We have two hours. No, three hours. Uh, ah, we we need water. We can make one. We can make. Yeah, let, let's do. Let's do two meals. And we eat one meal today, and then next meal on day five. I'd love to have cooked more meals now, because then they can't steal it when it's on the stove. So you eat that. The question is, should we go for a, not, a second burner, or should we try and upgrade this? I think I will upgrade. Try and upgrade this. Boom. Because then we can build an axe. And if we have the axe, we can cut down the furniture and get both firewood and wood. Then we need to upgrade this as well so we can start bar, uh, patch up the holes here. And because then we will get much more protected house. Ah, crap. What do we need? One more wood. Ah, crap. Um, what do we have? We have four firewood left. Okay, we don't need to do any more. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we could build. No. All right, let's go to bed. Or maybe we can add one more so we don't get that coal and go to bed. Right, we are totally healed. So, now we have a tough decision to do. Because most likely they will come and raid us and steal things. And now we have a lot of stuff. Or we can take a chance and go again and bring home more stuff. I, th I think we will do that. We don't, well, we don't need to bring anything, which means there is so much more to steal. So, cross your fingers. And we will just go for components and wood here. Um, we don't need food now, so let's do that. We could go for some water, but we don't need that now. Uh, let's do that exit run and please 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 don't have been there and steal our stuff because then i will <laughs> start to cry day four he's coming home ah oh, crap we have been raided things they stole Okay, they stole the food, some water. Okay, it's not that bad, but it's it's not that good either. So let's head up and we add the fuel we have on on the burner and try to get it to about 15. So oh, we, oh, they stole the firewood probably. So first, let's let's build the axe. That's that's main priority here. Boom. And then we, we can cut, cut down this one and probably this one and then we will get firewood so we can uh, add it. Damn thieves. F if we already didn't have it hard enough. And he's a smoker as well so he would like to have cigarettes to be placed. Otherwise, this would be a pretty good opportunity to stop smoke. Right, now we can see, we can cut down things here. And we also need to uh, think about the time. I'd love to be doing a saw blade as well. Okay, we got two firewood out of that one. Let's 
someone's at the door. All right, we got some more there. Good. Okay, let's go down. We will add three firewood on the burner and see if that is enough. And then we head down here and see what he wants. Uh, we want down here. There are two guys there. Come on, I need to be going soon. We live several blocks from here. We saw that you took refuge in this building and since we're supposed to be neighbors, we decided to pay a visit and say hello. We brought you some vegetables from our garden. Enjoy. All right. Thank you very much. Great to see you around. Okay, it's getting warmer. Will it be warm enough? 13 isn't warm enough. Let's see, can we upgrade this? We can. Yeah, let's upgrade that. Then we can start patching up the holes in the facade. And then I want to make a saw blade as well. Hopefully we have one weapon part left to do that because I saw that one of the locations there was a looted gas station and we need a saw blade to get through yes all right let's make that okay it's the, we need to build a, a, a second heater and I don't think we have enough material for that no, but we can. I will. I will just do that. We won't have time to build it today. So let's add one more. Go to bed, and you can see that we can start patching up this one tomorrow. So let's end the day. It's 12 degrees there, and I think we will, we will go for the looted gas station. So. We need, there is a pile of rubble, I think. I will bring that and I will also bring that. I think there is one locked thing in the basement, if I remember correctly. And there is a, a blocked door that we can open with that. All right, let's, uh, let's go. And we will do the same thing here. We will collect as much as we can and then we'll bring it and stash it somewhere and it's also good to bring a shovel in case there are soldiers we can use that as a weapon get some more what's in the back of that truck okay weapon parts uh, let's dig through this and then we I think yeah we can grate that open and then we just lock it there and then I think there is a locker there. There is actually a, a fridge that we can store our stuff in. So let's head down. Well, we can actually use the tools that we have brought us, brought with us, the saw blade and the lock pick. And then we drop everything off here. So let's clear this first. See if there's anything interesting here. Some liquor. Otherwise it was pretty much crap. And let's grab this and then we fill everything in the fridge. Uh, grab all. drop it off. We 
you see what's there. What are you doing? There is a note under the table, not actually hidden, but it could be easily missed. From the style of handwriting, you can tell it was written by a woman in a hurry. Milos, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I could not wait any longer. I hid some jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement inside cartoon boxes behind the bar door. Use it, stay alive, please. God bless you, I'm sorry. Oh, she left, that's sad. So we have some jewelry back here? Oh yeah. Books and jewelry. Yeah, let's drop that off and then we continue and clear this. Hopefully we can clear the whole thing before the morning. Let's see, can we open it from here or do we have to go around? No? So the question is, I think it's mice. We will have a look. Yeah. Mice. Uh, is it anything out? I don't remember. Yeah, there was something here. Okay, got that. Alright, there are two more floors, or actually one more floor. Okay, we got some uh, med ingredients. So we can make our medicine. Ah, oh, we can't grab that, right? Let's head down, drop it off. The toys that we find is if uh, sometimes there is uh, a woman and a child or a father and a child that come to seek shelter. And if we take them in, we need to build a lot of things for the kid. All right, there's a dead guy lying there. This poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? Yeah, I don't know. Right, grab some wood. Let's open this. So we have three hours left. Oh, we need to head home. That should be plenty to look it through this, the roof as well. Here and see if there is anything on the roof. Yeah, there might be something here. All right, and then we have one barrel here before we head home. All right, a lot of materials. And then there was this toy, right? There we go. Let's decide what to bring us back. We don't need any food since we have food at home. So I think we will just go for... Uh, this could be good, but I think the trader... Yeah, he might come back. This is good. Yeah, let, let's bring those. We definitely want the shovel back. We don't really need the weapon parts. Let's go those, and then we need a lot of wood because we're gonna patch up the holes. This is awesome as well for trade. Yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, I think this is a pretty good spot to end this first episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. 
please give it a like if you like it and we will see you next time bye bye